In this example, we'll talk about iterator interface. Now, this iterator interface is, let's say you have a collection. So let's create a collection. We'll directly use the array list here. And the type of elements I want here is, let's say it is integers. Okay. So it is integers. And we'll name this as, let's say, uh, values equal to. So in order to create the list, we have one of the way is we can use new add a list, and we can specify the size here. Okay, uh, we have to provide a bracket there. Now, in order to add elements, what we'll do is we'll say values equal to, and we'll say, uh, no, not values equal to. We have to say values dot add. We'll say values is five, and we'll say values dot add. We'll say value is four. We'll add one more, which is values dot add, which we'll say it is eight. So now we have three elements. Now, in order to print these elements, we have multiple ways, right? So one of the way is you can use a for loop. So using a for loop, you have to specify the starting point, which is index number zero, and we have to go to index number two, and we'll print all the elements. The second way is used to use enhance for loop. Now using enhance for loop, we can print, right? But let's say I want to do some more operations here. I want to update, I want to delete, I want to add, or I want to make some changes also with the help of it, with uh, iterations, right? So in case of iterations, I want to change something. So for that, you can use something called as iterator interface. So there's an interface called as iterator uh, in, in the java.util package. And we have to specify iterator for which type, we'll say iterator for integer types. And we'll define the name of the iterator as iterator itself, or we can say uh, it, which is, which is iterator here. Now, iterator is an interface, right? So we cannot say new iterator. But values here, which is values dot, so values is a method called as iterator, which itself gives you a iterator object. So we can simply say iterator it equal to values dot iterator. Now, once you got all the values, in order to print it, we, we have to first check that do we have another element there? So in order to check for the elements, we can use it dot. So since we need to check, so there's a method called as has next. Now has next returns you a true value if you have a next element. It will return you false if you don't have the next element. Now what I want is I want to fetch that value and store it somewhere. We'll say int i. Now how to fetch? We can simply say it dot. So it has a method called as next here. So iterator has a method called as next, which will give you the value. So don't get confused between next and has next. So has next is a function which returns you a boolean value, and next is a function which returns you a value, okay, a value of the collection. In this scenario, the values are integers, so it will return you int value. Now, once you got the value, you can simply say it is system dot out dot print ln, and somewhere inside will print the value of i, okay. So if I run this code now, so if I say run as application, you can see the values is 5, 4, and 8. So what is iterator? Iterator is an interface in collection framework, or you can say it is it belongs to a package which is util. So it's an interface in order to create object of iterator, we need to say values, which is your add a list dot iterator. And then we can use a method called as has next to verify do we have a next element? And if you have the element, it will say using next method you can fetch the element. 